why do different individual form different types of scars so you would have heard of scars like hypertrophic scar or a normal scar or a keloidal scar now you have to understand why a scar is formed any injury that goes beyond your the upper part of your skin and penetrate into a deeper dermis will result in a permanent scar now if it is a controlled injury or the injury is created in a controlled environment the resultant collagen will be actually well aligned and the scar actually appears better but in an uncontrolled injury like an acne where the injury there is a acne that forms and there is a pustule and then the body heals it so uncontrolled injury forms collagen in a very different manner so the scars are not the smooth they become hypertrophic are these collagen formed so every injury that is created on the skin leaves an impression in the brain and there are signals that sent back to form uh, activate the fibrocytes and then they form this uh, collagen to form the scar now when these impressions are magnified in your brain so the brain thinks you have a big injury instead of a small injury and sends signals to form more scars than what is required that is when it you end up in getting what is called a keloid impression is more but uh, remains within the injury zone it's called a hypertrophic scar but when it exceeds the injury uh, zone it calls a keloid so these are different type of scar and the treatment for each of them are very different when you have an injury what is important for you is to seek the specialist to make sure the edges are approximated well and the fibroblast activation is controlled enough collagen is formed so either if you get too less collagen then the scar widens that is also a bad scar so it's very important to actually uh, understand the scar and take uh, correct measures immediately after the injury to get the best scar